Hi, I'm Scott Byram from Mead Instruments, and we're here at the 2017 CES. And today we'd like to present some of our entry-level telescopes that are full of technology and bells and whistles, including our AudioStar computer controller. This is our Star Navigator series, and we start off with a 90 millimeter refractor. We also have reflecting telescopes, and we also have our Maksutov Cassegrain telescopes, all on our Star Navigator NG mounts. These all have a 30,000 object database, and once you do a simple two-star alignment, you're able to access any of those objects that are available to you in the night sky. They start off at $350 and run up to $499. On this side, this is our ETX Observer Series, and ETX has been around for a while. This is our latest release of the ETX line. And in the ETX Observers, we have an 80 millimeter refractor, we have a 90 millimeter Maksutov caster grain, and we also have a 125 millimeter Maksutov caster grain. And this is new for us, the ETX 125 just came back this past November. And I'd like to demonstrate just quickly how easy it is to align an ETX. And I'm just going to unlock the locks here. And we're roughly going to put it level and point north. And I'm just going to turn it off real quick, turn it back on. Now the audio star will do a start up here. And it will automatically get the time. And it's already been given the location here in Las Vegas. So it's just going to do quickly get the time for us. And now it's ready to do an alignment. We're going to do a true north alignment. Just press enter and it's going to automatically select the star to align on. And so right now the telescope will slew over to, right now it's going to, it thinks it's going to Vega. And then once you get to that star, it's going to ask you to center the star in the field of view of the eyepiece. And you just use the directional controls on the keypad to center the star. And once you get that done, it's almost there. Yeah, Vega's very high in the sky right now. So once you get that done, you just center it up and you press enter, and then it'll go off to a second alignment star. At time. So we're just finishing the alignment. We do a quick centering, press enter, alignment is successful. So from there, we can mode, we can go into the object library, go into the solar system. Let's just say we wanted to Go to Mars right now, just hit enter, go to, and it'll slew off to Mars for you. Does it work the same on all the telescopes? Yeah, the functionality is the same on all these models, including the star navigators. Now, the key features of the light switch telescope is that it is the only telescope on the market that you can literally just throw the switch and it automatically aligns for you. What it does is instead of manually centering a star in the field of view of the eyepiece like you do on the ETX or on the Star Navigator, the light switch has our little eclipse camera. It's a little camera, wide field camera, takes a quick snapshot of the star field around that alignment star. It does something called plate solving to determine where it is in the sky. And once it recognizes where it's at, it automatically will center on the star in the field of view and complete the alignment automatically for you. Now the light switch comes in a six inch and an eight inch ACF optical system. So these are little higher end optics than our, than our ETXs and our star navigators. Uh, but it's kind of the starting point for our high end product line. And new for this year, we have a great event coming this year, and that's the total solar eclipse of the sun this August. Uh, the actual date is August 21st. And for this year's special, we've brought out a, a line of telescopes designed to safely view the sun, and that's our eclipse view. And we have a series of small telescopes. They start off with an 82 millimeter reflector. We have a 114 millimeter reflector. And then we have another uh, refractor and then a 114 millimeter, I'm sorry, 76 millimeter reflector. They're all designed with a white light filter so that you can safely view the sun. And then after the event's over, you can take these filters off and they can be used as an astronomical telescope as well. So these are good for day and night and something that we're really excited about for this year. It's going to be a very big event for people in the United States.